by now that you should probably get familiar So out here is our temporary grazing pasture. So here's my arena, and it's not very big, but I laid it out as a square so I can get more done than I would in like a smaller rectangle. Um, I had those ground poles marking the edge of it so that when we first started making it, I could tell where to drag and where to till up the ground. Um, we're still working on the footing. It's definitely getting a lot better. Um, there's some deep spots like right in there so i have my mounting block there so i don't ride there and the coat of bear um i used i'm using my picnic table today because it's supposed to start raining but the cross ties are over there and then here are the pastures looking out from um, the stalls um we are gonna have another pasture that goes all the way to the tree line, but we're waiting for the grass to grow. Um, in each run out, there's a barrel with holes in the bottom and then a big hole cut in the top. We put the hay in there, but we also put some out there so they have some options. That's for his grain in the morning because he doesn't like to stay in his stall and eat. So in their stalls, we have a corner for hay. Not a lot of shavings in here right now because I just cleaned it. Water, corner feeders. Um, Bars between, as you can see, my lovely Coda enjoys wringing his teeth against the wood. He doesn't crib, he just gets mad. I haven't cleaned Gigi's stall yet, but she doesn't have mats in hers yet. We're getting there. She also has a corner feeder and a water bucket. And then we lock them in at night because um, we live in a rural area where we have lots of wildlife. And I don't want them to get scared in the middle of the night or eaten by a cougar. And then this is Gigi, Coda's girlfriend. They love each other. She's very sweet. She's a little skittish. She's two. She's going to be three next month. And I'm just kind of getting her started while she's here keeping Coda company. Gigi's barrel looks the same, except hers is set up a little higher because Coda's a princess and he likes to get his lower. And there's not much left in hers because she's an actual cow. We also put water in Tupperware containers because they were the biggest ones we had without buying like a big trough that cost a bunch of money. Also, it kind of stinks when it rains, but it's good otherwise. This top part of the stall is like mesh. So when it's hot in the summertime and they go inside or if it's hot at night, they have a breeze into their stalls because it gets kind of humid here. And here's the tack and feed. That's a three tier saddle rack. It's got Three saddles on right now. There's my work saddle. Hooks, polo bin, show tote. Feed area. Fans. Another polo tote, blankets. And then a bunch of random stuff. Another pad. Oh, there's my helmet. Bits are up there. And then the toys in here here we have the hay area we actually keep the rest of our hay in our back pole barn we have 10 acres <clears throat> so in two pole barns so I will go back to that one next out behind this pole barn though with the tack in it is my trailer which I just sold and I'm taking it to its new home on Wednesday and my truck the hay here's the cross ties we just have a couple mats so that Coda doesn't dig a hole in the ground because he digs. It's cemented in. That's not our camper. That's my uncle's camper. Here's more of our land that's covered in pine trees because we leased it out to a pine tree farm. This is the other pole barn. It's got a bunch of random stuff in it. We're really low on hay right now, but this is where we keep the rest of our hay. We're down to one, two, three, four, five, six, and like three bales in the other barn. So like nine bales of hay. It's great. Thriving. So 
Cheerio. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> He's done with me.